Vehicle events and faults report. Report tachograph manipulations. There have been recent reports in the press with regard to interfering with the tachograph units so drivers can try to work longer hours than is lawful. There have been reports of tampering ever since digital tachographs were compulsory in new vehicles from 2006. So it's not a recent phenomenon and has been happening for a long time. Recent vehicle unit additions have counter-fraud technology, but the crooks will always try to beat the system and the system will always try to keep ahead of the crooks. The tachograph vehicle unit will report when certain events occur. If you use the vehicle events and faults report, these can be listed. This will provide a list of any hardware sabotage, motion data sensor errors, etc. Although the tachograph can be a bit vague with what has actually happened, we do report for you what is available. Use the report to highlight the vehicle and you can see on the vehicle day view what occurred around the fault. Click on Reports, Vehicle Reports, Vehicle Faults and Events. Select a from and to date range. You can type the date in or select using the calendar icon. Output Options. You may want to see the report in a spreadsheet. Select Output CSV file to view the data in this way. The report will be displayed in your browser otherwise. If you choose to schedule the report, the CSV version will be sent regardless. For this report, the CSV version is probably the easiest to use. Display. Vehicle unit faults. By keeping this option checked, you can choose to display the various faults including hardware sabotage and motion data sensor errors. Vehicle unit events. By keeping this option checked, you can choose to display the various events, driving without an appropriate card, etc. Fault or event type. Choose which specific event or fault type you want to see or leave as all. Site. Choose the specific sites you wish to see data for or all for all sites you have access to. Minimum length of. Some events are very short and should you wish to ignore events and faults that are less than a certain number of minutes, you can enter that value here. Vehicle. If you wish to view data from a specific vehicle, choose the vehicle from the drop-down list. Click View Report. The browser version of the report shows the vehicle registration, the event or fault type, the date and time start and end. The CSV version has the following columns. Vehicle registration. Site, the site the vehicle is based at. Type, event or fault. Fault code, the event or fault reference code. Fault, the fault description. Start, the start date and time of the event. End, the end date and time of the event. Duration, the duration from the start and end times. Driver begin. Some events are related to a driver or drivers. If this is the case, the driver that starts the event is shown here. Employee number begin. If your driver has an employee number recorded, the begin driver's employee number will be displayed. Driver end. The driver that ends the event is shown here. Employee number end. If your driver has an employee number recorded, the end driver's employee number will be displayed.